Very good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to the den. Thank, where are we? Thank you, Mrs. A. You're pointing at that then. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely, right. Um, Monday evening, did a bit of. I came in here about 7 pm, roughly. And not that that matters, is it? But uh, I wanted to clean a couple of my ball brushes. One of them, well, was this. This is the Samog. A30 ball brush. I've had this for many, many years. Um, this is <laughs> well and truly running, soft as soft as a brush. Um, as you can see, it's splayed out now. I've I've got some Zingari Man all-purpose brush cleaner, like a puck, a citrus puck. I think it's got bicarbonate of soda and all that in it. And you just dampen the brush and lather. A bit on this puck and then I took a bowl and then made a lather and let it sit there for five minutes till it dissipated and then I re-lathered it and then I got the bowl and the running water and sort of lathered in the water till it all came out and then um, rinsed it thoroughly shook it dry towel dried it best I can like you would your hair there's many ways of doing it some people use shampoo conditioner uh, all sorts of things um, and then I just leave it to dry for 24 hours or more now it's uh, for this shave it's been about two days but as you can see it looks much more splayed it's hairs are nicely separated clean and I did the um, other Samog up here the 2030B this this I love that brush um, so we're going to use that today a good old friend so I'm going to put some hot water in here and just let it sit for a minute while I show you what bowl we're going to use. They're going to use the um, local pottery um, with anvil pottery it's called. Some of this stuff. This uh, where's it made now? Spanish isn't it? Spanish Lear. Uh, classic shaving cream in this metal tube. Oh, by the way, just thanks for all the comments and the well wishes for the hand. Um, looking a bit of a yellowy colour now, isn't it? Uh, that's the bruising coming out, I think. Uh, it didn't go black as I thought it might do. But um, it's come down quite a bit since the last time. I can use it more now. Uh, still quite painful in certain events of lifting or pulling too quickly. But we're getting there, you know, much better. Um, feels sort of more normal shall we say I had to take my ring off here uh, while I could because it did swell um, I haven't taken that ring off for over 20 years I don't think it's in there it felt strange anyway what was I saying now oh yeah that's what I was saying thank you for the well wishes and the comments and much appreciated I really appreciate that um, thank you so I'm going to do is just put a and get hold of this pea size put in the base there and then uh, put that back on there that's nice that then we're going to use our 19 it's a W what is it W2 so the second quarter of 1951 that was made April May or June I expect of 1951 uh, the Gillette black tip non-adjustable twist to open and that reminds me after this shave and when this is dry I'll put some uh, uh, mineral oil in there but uh, lovely blade I'm still going to use where are we um, this Wilkinson sword, which will be, it's 
third use third use for that there we go and this all just gives time for the just closer that's lovely there is overhang on that to be aware of so now we can uh, bring this brush three flicks it's wet but it's not dripping we're going we'll have to add water obviously brush feels much better so how are you doing in yourselves all right hope you hope you're staying safe <laughs> not like some of them lovely scent quite an uplifting scent fresh what I call a fresh and clean scent So that's now leaving the aerated stage and it's turning into a cream. Just a touch more water. Because with the old ball brushes they do hog it a bit. So hopefully. And that's something you don't realise when you only used ball brushes, badger brushes, to, until you start using synthetics, you realise they are look at how much they um, used to hog the cream. But I think, yeah, I think that is good. That'll do us. We've got a straight hair there, see? That's good enough. Lovely. So we can wet the face now. shave wow that is hot and I forgot my flannel now I will do it the uh, the other way today because the reason is I put it in the washer washing machine and I forgot to bring it in but I'm enjoying using the flannel in between it's another little sort of addition to the traditional wet shaving for me Mm. You'd easily think this is a synthetic fabric. But this is one of the ball brushes that's had a lot of use from me. A lot of use and it's always worked wonders. I got the A20 that on display there. Yeah, second shelf, furthest on the on the left. Let me see it there. It's a white knot. Right, that'll do. Has a definite vintage classic, I should say, scent about this. Very nice, very nice scent. We'll just. Warm up the Gillette black tip. And then we'll go first pass. Here we go. Wilkinson sword, third use. Oh yeah. You can hear it, can you? 
you can also see it, loads of whiskers there. Lovely. How are you finding your shaves going? Okay. The reason I say that, sometimes we have off days, don't we? It's nothing you've done, nothing changes, but you feel maybe the shave wasn't on par with maybe your normal shaves. And I say that's just an off day, just one of them days. Is this I think there's slight mentholation in this soap. There's just a hint of something. Either that or there's a mint or something. In it. That is lovely. Nice, good slickness. Lots of whiskers, rinse them down. We'll use nature's flannel. There you go. So, back to the bowl. We'll have a touch of water. And as you can see, there's no problem whatsoever with the brush hogging the soap in any way. It's nice to clean the brushes every now and again, because the way I know, it starts to feel a bit different and it starts to um, not splay as well. And another one is if you flick the brush when it's dry, you see bits of what looks like dust. Um, but that's ov obviously dried uh, soap residue, you know, so it's, it's time to give it a clean then. So I soak it first in hot water for about 10 minutes before I clean it. This isn't that, you know, I don't do a how-to video, it's just how I do it. As I say, there's lots of ways people clean. brushes across the growth no lovely razor across there So how's the weather where you are? It's been um, sunny here, but uh, yesterday we had, it was quite windy, but um, you know, where you think, oh, is that gonna turn into a bit of a stormy day? But well, not too bad. You'll have it. Touch of water again. Mm. Mm. Mind you, it makes sense if this Leah or Lee Leah 
leeward too. Oh yeah. Um, this shave cream makes sense if it did have slight mentholation in it because Spain is a hot country, isn't it? There's a lot of heat. Here we go, against the growth. Beautiful feeling, lovely slickness. Scent strength of this would be about a 5 out of 10 for me. Midweek shave. Need to pop to a I need to pop to a farm today for some milk. There's a run out. Can't beat it that milk. It's a, as we used to get it here from the milkman <clears throat> in bottles, and you'd always have a cream on the top of the bottle, which the birds used to pinch if you went quick enough. And my, my mother used to play the birds. These are they're clever, you know. These peck, especially the blackbird. I think used to peck the foil cap off the milk bottle and take all the cream. We still used it. But it was it was just annoying because that was a nice bit of the milk people used to look forward to anyway and we have the same in the farm milk but you don't get it from shop bought milk these days because it goes through so many processes filtered and uh but it doesn't have that in the farm you see it's just um i don't know how they do it but uh oh, it's beautiful milk. anyway it's not a milk channel is it dairy three two one pick up time baby yeah and uh a couple of people have asked, can we have the neck joke please? All right, so this is for you. If you like that, I forgot about that, see? Neck brace. <laughs> you gotta admit though, isn't it? If you did a video call to work from a distance, I can't come in. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with it? Can't come in to work today. Why not? Well, I've done my hand in. Yeah, you can shave. Well, of course I can shave. Good grief. Oh, I have a, a new, um, well, something to show you at the end of the video. Um, we 
what have we got? And then um, there's something else on the way, which is quite special. It's a limited edition, and I think uh, I'm lucky to get one because it's. There's not many left, I think. Anyway, I'll show you that. Let's just say it's a very British thing. Very, very British thing. Uh, good age, you sir. And then, um, oh, that's lovely, that. We're using alum today. Alum? Yeah, alum, yeah. Just there, just there, listen. That's lovely. Right, cold water rinse. And I mean cold. Keep it wet. Gonna go to the green block is called. Yeah. Not sponsored. <laughs> oh it's lovely. Not a tingle. Not a tingle. Get to empty this. So, so while that's doing this thing, we've used the Gillette Black Tip uh, DE razor. It's a W2, so it's a 1951 razor, as I say, made between um, April, May, or June of 1951, second quarter. And then, uh, beautiful br uh, brush, beautiful razor, standard aggression. Um, Wilkinson sword blade. This was its was a third use. Um, perfect again, ready for number four, I think. So that's lovely. Then we've used the Leah, Leah or Lee, um, classic shaving Spanish shaving cream. Um, beautiful scent, clean, fresh, but it has a hint of classicness to it. Um, and I think there's a bit of menthol in there somewhere, but very, very mild, very slick during the shave. Uh, we used our Samog uh, 830 bore brush, um, recently cleaned and renovated, and it worked perfectly. It made the lather no problem. Well, it was a shaving cream, but the important thing was it gave it me back during the shave. It didn't hog it. It wasn't hard work. It didn't use it up. As you can see, there's still some in the brush and some in the bowl. Doing a three pass and pickups, um, which is good for a bowl or brush, so it does pay to look after them, doesn't it? Uh, and then we've rinsed with water, left the face wet, and then we've used our green block alum, and we're about to rinse again. If that doesn't wake you up, nothing will. Beautiful, eh? Oh, I got That's the only thing with his hand uh, is pressure. You can't give put too much pressure. But that is beautiful. Very happy with it. Look at that. smooth clean shave so now we're going to stick to Spain and we're going to use some Mersol this is the green I think this has a bit of um, a bit tight there or is it mint or something
Ooh, it's like putting a polo mint on your face. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. Ooh, I'm going to have some more of that. That is beautiful. Very minty, yeah, lovely that. And of course that has a... I don't watch this lid because it's... Uh, oh, I'll sort it out after. It has a um, cooling effect sort of thing. And then, something I've not used for a while, I'm coming to the last of this. L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Sensitive Soothing Birch Sap. Bam, 0% alcohol, 0% coloration, colours. Yep, getting to the end of that. Good stuff. Very nice. And um and that is it, so I just want to show you something. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you'll have seen this, but uh, I'll just show you if you haven't. I came into ownership of this thing. And it's my first, it's a brush, obviously. Uh, it's a rubber set. Well, there you go, I don't know if you can see this. It's difficult with it being a clear, uh, can you see that? If you can, good. If you can't, I'll read it for you now. It says, uh, um, got my eyes, this thing. Play, uh, plasti, plas, wait a minute. Plasti set, plasti set 600N nylon rubber set, trademark made in the USA. Uh, beautiful, just caught my eye. And it's a synthetic knot. Beautiful. So I'm not sure if it's been re knotted at one point or something, or was it originally like this? Um, it looks in there like it's original, but uh, anyway, we'll use that in a shave soon. Got my eyes are glazing because of this uh, mintiness. Um, we'll use that in a future shave. I've got another brush, as I say, on the way, a very British themed brush. You'll know what I mean when you see it. When I use it, but I uh, look forward to using this one for the collection. My first rubber set uh, brush, so I'm very pleased with that. And the lady I bought that off was so pleased. Thank you, Paul, for buying this. And I said, Are you welcome? You know, I don't think she ever she must have listed and thought oh, nobody's going to buy that, but uh, very nice. Um, and that's it, I'll leave you to it. Sorry to waffle on. Have a great rest of the week, uh, good shaves. Take care of yourselves and each other, <laughs> that's important. And um, I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. So all the best, thanks very much, and bye-bye.